Hello there, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. Today I want to talk to you about the Sealed with Love bundle that's in the Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog on pages 14 and 15. It's a fabulous suite of products. Uh, starting off, it has the stamp set and the coordinating framelits dies. Uh, we've got some glassine sheets that have some really cute little delicate print on them. Uh, we've got some 12 by 12 real red cardstock, these adorable little mini paper clips, three different colors, uh, two different colors of the skinny eighth inch ribbon, some fabulous wood embellishments, and of course the designer series paper stack. I've got over 30 swap cards that I've received using uh, these suite of products and I'm going to show them all to you, um, as well as how the dies, you know, what the dies cut out, what stamps they go with, that kind of thing. So I guess let's just get started here. All right, the first day I want to talk about is this fabulous heart edgelet. And this thing is so cool. It's designed to cut the edge of your card, and then you end up with what looks like this, where these hearts can be popped up a little bit for some 3D effect going on there. Very cool. Right along the edge of your card, I've got a few samples here. We've got this one. Here's a gorgeous red one that has a white panel underneath, so you can see the white. Uh, here's one with another panel underneath. This one also has some uh, Blushing Bride Glimmer Paper um, underneath the heart, so that's just uh, fabulously shiny there. This card here, it's in the plastic, hopefully it's not too much of a glare. Um, the gal just um, cut the strip off of it and put it on the edge of her card. Uh, here's another one where it's a flip open card, same thing right along the edge. So that a little edgelet is very, very cool. We've got this uh, small envelope, and then we've got a couple of smaller dies that create like little notes that you can tuck into the envelope, um, and then a couple of coordinating dies to go with it. So, of course, we've got the envelope. So here's a little vellum envelope that I created here. This little die here, I cut a little note that you can just slide right into the envelope here, like so. And you'll notice that I have that little row of hearts on this note card and that little row of hearts is one of the stamps that's in the set and it's designed to fit right in those little scallops. So here's the scallops and then that adorable little heart border just fits right in there. We've got another kind of border stamp here. This is another little note that you can tuck into the envelope. Okay, Tuck that one in also. Uh, this particular shape is cut with this die here. And you'll notice these little hearts I have at the top. Well, the stamp set helps us out there too. We've got a little row of the patterned hearts and a row of solid hearts. And you can just stamp those right. The die is designed to have the stamps fit right in there. So you can do that with your little stamps. Um, we've got another little die here that cuts out that same pattern of hearts. And what you could do is you could cut that from a different color and layer that on so you can have a two-toned little love note. Adorable! We also have uh, the envelope flap die and that will cut a little flap. Then you could either put that on the inside of your envelope so you've got some fun on the inside or if you close the envelope uh, you can just stick it on the outside of the envelope. Those are the little envelope dies. Let's move on. We've also got this a little kind of pocket note card, another little small envelope. It also has a little die that you can uh, cut to make designs on the envelope flap. This is two colors of pink. Hopefully you can tell the difference there. Or you could stick that on the inside either way. Um, we also have this little fancy thing that's designed to cut a cute little item that you can stick inside this tiny little envelope. So that is adorable. And you'll notice that I have this little love frame. So that's right here. So I stamped that in real red, die cut it, and then there's this other little stamp in here that's just some diagonal stripes. And I did that in pink pirouette on that little note. So you could have this on the front of a card, you could have it on the inside of a card. It's just adorable. Or you could close it up Make it a cute little envelope, and then somebody would open it and they'd see your sweet little love note in there. So cute. Uh, we also have this little framed piece here with the little heart in it that would also work um, on this piece as well. So there's those three little pieces. Oh, then we have some fun, fun, fun pieces. 
We've got that and that. We've got a couple different arrows that you can use. And then we have a smaller heart. So the smaller heart, there are three stamps in the set that you could stamp on this little heart and decorate your card with or your project. Uh, we've got these two different designs of arrows. I do have some cards that use the arrows. Let me get those. All right, here's some arrow cards. Now this particular card, it uses one of the arrows but you can tell that the arrow isn't quite long enough for the card. So all I did was just snip the arrow in half and I put the point, you know, right here, put the other end right there so it actually made it a little bit longer arrow. This card here just has the arrow just straight through the heart, no cutting or anything on that. This fabulous card uses the arrow die, but check this out. Okay, so this is actually die cut into the black cardstock. So it's not like she has a piece of red arrow just stuck on there. She die cut that out of the black. So that's like a negative image of the arrow. So that is very cool. This one again, just straight through the heart. Very cool. Uh, this one, we've got a black arrow. And this one has a gold arrow out of our gold uh, foil sheets. And I'm going to go over this card a little bit more in a minute. Uh, this cool, then we have these other two nifty little hearts. This one is kind of like a screen or something. I'm not even sure what you'd call that, but it die cuts with a whole bunch of holes in it. And I've got some cards that use that. All right, here's some cards that use that heart. Here's one that I did where I used it to make a butterfly using two hearts. And so these kind of um, aren't completely glued down, so they really add some really cool dimension to this card. Uh, here's one where the heart is inlaid into the card. So it's die cut out of the front, but yet then it's stuck on the inside. So that gives a cool effect. I think we just saw this one, but I wanted to show you again. Nice uh, design there. This one has the heart um, popped up on front of some silver glimmer paper. So that's really cool. You get that nifty uh, glimmer showing through there. Uh, here's this one where it's just simply mounted on one of our stitched shaped circles. Then we have this heart which does this. So it's got some score lines here right down the middle. So you can mount that to your card and have some 3D effect going on with that. And let me get the cards with that. All right. So on this card, I took the heart and I trimmed out the center part here. So I just had the open heart like that. Uh, this card, it's right here. And then we have this stamp fits right in the center of that. So those coordinate together. And you can see that it's kind of popped up on the side there. I think you can. Uh, this one, the red, is um, it was die cut with that heart. And then again, this uh, piece of red cardstock was heat embossed with white embossing powder and Versamark. That same image um, on this one. So we kind of have an opposite effect here. Very cool. This one just simply has the heart right in the middle of the card. Uh, for this card, she used three of those and just laid them all with the glimmer paper on. And you can see them. You can see that there's some hearts cut out of that. Uh, this one's gorgeous using our rose red card stock and stamping this heart stamp in the center of all these hearts uh, with black. And we're back to that one. Before I show you all the cards, I did want to talk a little bit about the Designer Series Paper Stack. So it's a stack of Designer Series Paper, and you get 48 sheets. There are uh, eight double-sided designs, so I've got all eight here, and you get six of each. So um, I just kind of got them all kind of laid out here. These are kind of the uh, dark red sides, and then if you flip it over, then you've got the lighter patterns, you know, with the white, mostly white, and then a little bit of the red. So then I'm going to just show you a few cards before I turn into my whole lot that use a number of those patterns. So here's a great card where you've got four of the different patterns shown on the card. This one's got a great combination of the two, these two patterns. And then this one, uh, again, with the four different patterns, just kind of a block style. Here we go with the cards. We've got this one. We've got this one. We've got some great use of that silver metallic thread in the back there. A couple of rhinestones at the end of the greeting. Uh, some fabulous red glimmer paper. Love the sparkle on that stuff. Uh, we've seen this one. I did want to mention that we do have some of this fabulous um, burlap in the back. Here's another great one using the envelope and the little pull-out note that I talked about. And here's that little tiny envelope flap there. 
a little bit of black baker's twine. Uh, this one uses a bunch of the different hearts. So like I said before, the arrow was cut in half so it could be a little bit longer. Mounted on one of our stitched shapes circles. This one we've seen, but I wanted to mention that we've got these lips and hearts um, embossed in clear embossing powder on the side there of the black. So that's pretty darn cool. This one we talked about where the um, arrow was inlaid into the black. Got a couple of dazzling diamond glimmer hearts on there. And then, of course, decorate the inside with that little border stamp that I showed you. This one right here. Here's a gorgeous card using a blushing bride and copper. Got some copper embossing there with those lips. The greeting is embossed in copper. The coordinating blushing bride satin stitched ribbon. Gorgeous. This one we talked about where the heart was inlaid to the inside of the card using some of the pattern paper. This one I love. This uses our alphabet die set uh, to spell out the word love. It's got a little bit of the glassine sheets back here, a little strip of that, and then some fabulous uh, stamping on the inside too. Here's another one. This one's using the falling petals uh, embossing folder, scalloped, or I mean the circle layering circle framelits, stitched shape framelits, and probably the banners framelits to crop that piece of designer series paper. Here's one that's a little bit non-traditional. It's got this great soft sky in there. It also uses our uh, eighth inch ribbon that's in the catalog and this adorable little paper clip. Here's a Z fold card. Again, with the envelope on the front, the detail of the edge went right there. Um, the heart's border punch was used right here. So I actually punched it out of the melon mambo, then punched it out of black, and then input the black hearts in some of these open spaces. Bit of the pop of pink washi tape. There you go. Here's a matchbook card that I made. You've got your cute little envelope on the front. We've got our little sending love greeting that slides right out of there. Some of the eighth inch grow grain ribbon, a stitched shape stitch square, uh, one of the doilies, and our greeting on the inside. Here's one again, a little bit non-traditional. We've got some soft sky on here, got the die cut hearts. This actually uses the sassy, sweet and sassy hearts framelits um, to die cut this large heart and this heart here. And then we've got our great love greeting and you can see the sparkle of that, love it. Here's one that uses uh, those little wooden embellishments. Love those little things. They're not too thick, so they don't add too much bulk to your card. Um, some of the pattern paper die cut with the sweet and sassy framelits and the falling petals embossing folder on the bottom there. Another card that uses those wood embellishments. That is adorable. Tied a little piece of baker's twine on there. Great use of the designer series paper and the layering circles framelits. This one uses those adorable paper clips again, uh, tied with a little bow at the top of that. Uh, great use of a bunch of the stamps in the set. We've got this little uh, kind of bordery stamp right up here. This is our designer series paper, the falling petals um, embossing folder. Another card that uses the sweet and sassy hearts. All this stuff goes together so great. Um, some of the pattern paper, white embossing down there for the greeting, and some of that new ribbon. All right, this one, another paper clip, a little tiny bit of ribbon, a couple of the envelopes on there, the falling petals embossing folder. Ooh, this one has some gray thrown in with a bit of some red glimmer paper to pop that up. And you can barely see, I'm not sure if you can see it, the hexagon folder is used on this heart. Yes. This one uses one of those new lace doilies that we have in the catalog. Here's the heart stamp. And then the I Love You banner with a little tiny enamel star right there. This uses the red glitter embossing powder. I'm not sure. I hope you can see that. Uh, with some silver uh, stitched shapes, circle, and red, and some of the great ribbon. Here's an adorable shaker card. We've got two patterns of the paper. The adorable ribbon here. The banner punch. Ah, this one uses a lot of lips and kisses. Great idea. Glimmer paper, the black arrow, uh, the hearts folder back here. We've got this one here. A couple of the hearts. Another one of those little wood embellishments. The ribbon. Uh, this one uses the edgelet. Love that thing. With one of the doilies. Lips sealed with a kiss. Perfect. 
I showed you this one already. This is fabulous. It's got so much bling, these tiny little hearts here. Oh, that can also be a little postage stamp. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Right there, that little stamp, postage stamp on your envelope. Brilliant, brilliant. This one is an interesting card. It uses the alphabet letters on a window sheet. So it opens up and then you've got the patterned paper underneath. You've got the great ribbon and the wooden embellishment here. It looks like it was dunked in a real red ink pad and then maybe some Wink of Stella was painted on there. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's from those wood embellishments right there. And then of course the arrow. And then here's a card that I did uh, showing you, you can take those hearts and make them into butterflies. This is a birthday card, some of our celebration ribbon, and then a great greeting on the inside. Wow, I think that's it. Over 30 cards that I have using that stamp set and the coordinating framelits. So, hope you enjoyed that video. If you need to see more of these cards, I'm going to have some of them posted on my blog. Not sure if I'm going to get them all up there, but you can always refer back to the video if you want to see them again. Um, if you need any of these items to uh, make your Valentine's Day cards, I would love it if you would shop with me at shoppingwithbarb.com. I've got some great deals. Using a hostess code, hostess code will get you some free merchandise and you can always check out my blog at barbstamps.com. So thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and have a wonderful, wonderful day.